Hello everybody and welcome back to season 41 of the Pichu London Cup Series. Today we're at Martinsville Speedway for the running of the Xfinity 500. It is the start of our second round of the playoffs and only 12 drivers remain in the fight for the championship. On the pole will be the 24 of Priya McShane. On the outside will be teammate Robert Smith in the 88. Row 2 has the 10 of Sharona Evans and the 21 of John Andrews. Row 3 has Coda Butcher and Ryan Durrani. And row 4 is Nathan Ormond and Chris Leone. And row 5, Zachary Fitzwater and Maxwell Smart. And running out the field of playoff drivers will be Isaiah Bernesh and Daniel Bouchard. And here's how the rest of the field will line up here in today's race. And now we're down to the final 12 drivers in the playoffs here in Season 41. And we're going to kick off Round 2 right here in Martinsville Speedway. Should be a lot of fun. It'll be a short track race here, 50 laps around this track. We'll see who locks themselves in in the next round. Sharona Evans won last week to get her into round two, and now we'll see we'll see if she wins to get into round three. Or will another playoff driver take the win here today to lock themselves into round three? Anyway, the green flag waves here at Martinsville Speedway. Ooh. Cars in the wall. Oh boy. This is going to be a fun race. This is a short track after all. This is a fun short track to run in. Now more drivers in the wall. Oh man. They're starting to really get beaten and bang in there. Oh, Coda Butcher. Coda spins. Goes in the wall. Coda Butcher spins. And now they're more spinning at Rufus Langerick. Oh. No, Igor Barreto. I'm sorry. That was Igor Barreto. And Toby Smith got into a crash and caution is out for Sharona Evans. She takes the lead. And Toby Smith was the one that brought out the caution. As you see, she, he, he spun. And Igor Barreto made contact. And that's what brought the caution out. And uh, we just saw Coda Butcher go around. Oh, Barreto is around again. Wow, Beretta went around. You see a lot of drivers spinning and winning here today. Wow. Anyway, Sharona Evans takes the lead on lap two, and this is how she took the lead over the 24 pre McShane. And there's Evans going on the bottom. Was able to get the run off the corner and clear the 24 to take the lead under the caution flag. And there you're going to see another view of Coda Butcher getting contact with Robert Smith and Maxwell Smart into the wall. And the 96 not off to a good start here in the second round of the playoffs. Every spot is critical. And now we're about to get back to the green flag with Sharona Evans in front. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, she won the last race. She won last week's race at... The Rov she won last week's race at the Roval to lock herself into the next round. And now she's trying to win back-to-back -back races so that she would... Oh, wait. Yeah, Sharon Evans was the one. Never mind. Yeah, Sharon Evans, she won last week at the Roval. And now she is trying to lock herself into the next round with another win in back-to-back -back weeks. Could be po It's possible... But she's got playoff drivers right behind her, all trying to get into the next round. And here we go to the green flag, back to the green here at Martinsville. Oh, Evans in the wall, McShane just went around, Prim McShane just went around. The 24 just went around. And now there's more cars involved. The 24 just went around. Wow, what a surprise. Priya McShane was running in second, was going for the lead. Nathan Ormond, though. Contact, wow, what a twist. And David Aline with hard damage, and there's the 38 also with damage. And Coda Butcher was hit hard. Those are two playoff drivers also affected. Wow. What a race this has been. A wreck fest, definitely. And we're going to see much more wrecks here today. That's for sure. 
And guess who took the lead? Zachary Fitzwater. How did that happen? Look at that. He just avoided the 24. And now he's going for the lead right here. Just racing to the caution. That's just phenomenal. Oh, right on the wall they went. Ooh, that was a tight battle. Wow. That was a tight race back to the stripe there. Look at that. Here's another look. Evans in the wall. Took smart. And look at the bumper to bumper action. Zach Fitzwater took the lead. What a move by the number four car. That is incredible. That's unbelievable. Zach Fitzwater just took the lead just like that. And Priya McShane, the race is over for the 24 car. Coda Butcher is still in this race in the back of the pack. Not off to a good start in the playoffs. Now, this race is just, just about everything. This, ha this race just has about everything. A lot of crashes and spins, man. They're just, wow, racing aggressively. What a race this has become. We're back to the green flag as Zach Fitzwater leads and Maxwell Smart and these drivers in the playoffs are all in the top six. Who's going to make the next big move? Here we go. Back to the green flag here in Martinsville. Tightest, smallest track in the schedule and oh, now they're hitting the wall again. And one car's around, that is Isaiah Bernash. One car just went around, the six of Isaiah Bernash spins. Now they're putting Fitzwater into the wall, and now the 88 spins. Huge crash, the seven is hit, and he's Johnny Garner, and Robert Smith Rex, and now more drivers involved as well. Big damage for, the, for many of the cars here today. And Maxwell Smart brings out, and Maxwell Smart is in the lead after all that chaos. Wow, playoff drivers are dropping left and right here in Murnsville. And now the lead goes to Maxwell Smart and Butcher comes to the pits. Not surprising since what it, given how what he's been through here today. And now the 20 car leads back to the green. In a crazy race here at Martinsville, and uh, we're going to have one more lap to go before we get to the green, and now we're back to the green. Here comes Maxwell Smart into the lead as we're back to the green flag here at Martinsville. No surprise, Johnny Garner is wasting no time trying to take the lead, and he's going to get to him. More cars are slamming in the wall. One car to the pits. That is the three of Cassandra Kirker. Can they get through the next corner without wrecking each other? Oh, oh, wow. Not quite. Daniel Bouchard nearly gets turned, and that'll still bring the caution out. More cars to pit. They'll race back to the line, and Avi Sachs trying to get in the top five, but Zach Fitzwater, he's going to lead us to the caution flag. On lap 22. More cars to the pits, but Zach Fitzwater was able to make it through and take the lead. And now Maxwell Smart running in second, right behind him. And how about Avi Sachs? Not in the playoffs, but running in third place. Still doing a doing pretty good right here with all the wrecks that have been going on here today. So we'll see who takes the advantage here as we get back to the green flag past the halfway point. Still a lot of racing to go. Sharona Evans is fourth, by the way, and Ryan Durani eighth and ninth among the playoff drivers. And oh, Nathan Ormond is ninth, I'm sorry, among the playoff drivers. And here we go back to the green. Check out the move by Nathan Ormond trying to collect those playoff points, trying to collect those crucial cr playoff points to him to move on. And for once, we get a clean green flag run. And I don't think it's going to last long, given how these drivers have been running aggressively all day. Whoa, Ryan Durrani. Contact with Sharona Evans trying to get those points. And Nathan Ormond right behind them. Oh, Ormond spins. Nathan Ormond just went around. 
Oh, Nathan Ormond spins. He's going to lose a lot of positions and more cars wreck again. Oh, man. Cars are exiting pit road again, and now the four hangs out of the lead. Now he's better slow down because cars are behind him wrecking each other. Oh, my gosh. What a race this has been. Zachary Fitzwater is in the lead. And Abby Sachs right behind him in second place. And how about Ethan Sale running third? And Ethan Sale was eliminated from the playoffs in the last round. So we'll see if he can make a comeback here today. Come from behind and take the win. 16 laps to go when we get back to the green. And here we go again. 16 to go. And the green flag waves. For the lead, here comes Avi Sachs. He's going to take it from Zach Fitzwater, and he goes around. Zach Fitzwater loose. Oh, and he lost all those positions, and the yellow will be out anyway, but he lost all those positions, and Zach Fitzwater might have just taken himself out of the win. Unbelievable. And Avi Sachs leads. 14 laps to go. What a race. Maxwell Smart in prime position now in the second spot. Trying to get all those critical points. It's going to be back and forth roller coaster ride here at Martinsville Speedway. Nine laps to go when we get back to the green. We'll see who takes the win. Is Maxwell Smart going to lock himself into the next round with a win? Here we go. We're going to find out with the green flag coming out here at Martinsville Speedway. Seven lap, No, wait. Just nine laps to go. Might come down eight laps to go when they take the green. If they stay green. And wow, cars are still loose. And somehow, someway, the leaders don't wreck each other. Wow, that, that's a, it's a miracle at this point. They're going to keep on racing here as Avi Sachs holds, hang, is hanging on to that lead. He knows that a caution might come within the next lap or two. So he's got to be real careful and got to plan this right. More cars to pit. I see Nathan Ormond had come to pit road. Hmm. That might just be a difference. That might make a difference here between earning some points and not earning a lot of points. In a second place battle, looks like Ethan Sale wants to take second, and he's going to do so before the caution. Six laps to go. The question is, will there be one or two laps remaining when we get back to green? Ethan Sale just took second. That might be an advantage. So let's see where the caution happened. Oh, there was a spin. Zach Fitzwater spins again. And Robert Smith just spun him another huge turnaround in the playoffs Zach Fitzwater's day goes from bad to worse as he gets taken out by Robert Smith I don't know what that was about but yeah it's gonna set up some drama so how many laps are we gonna have left remaining when we get back to the green and it looks like we might have a one lap showdown and we will have a one lap showdown. So this will not have an overtime attempt. We will have a one lap dash to the finish under green, under regulation. So this is going to be coming down to the final lap here at Martinsville Speedway. A one lap dash to see who wins this race at Martinsville. And here we go. The white flag is out. One lap remaining under green, and here we go. Max Will Smart doing everything he can to get that win over Avi Sachs. Got by for second place. We'll see if he can catch Sachs on the final lap. Might not be enough, though. Avi Sachs comes off the final turn, and he's going to win at Martinsville. And Avi Sachs, the surprising underdog, 
takes the win at Martinsville in the playoff race. An incredible run for Avi Sachs, and he completes the victory. What a way to get that win. Avi Sachs back in victory lane for the first time in a long time. And that team is happy. The 27 comes back and wins it. And here are the playoff drivers and how they did. Maxwell Smart came in second, and he took the second spot from Sale on that final lap of the dash. My goodness, it came down to the wire. Sharona Evans ended up in third place. Durani was sixth. Leon was eighth. Andrews was tenth. Robert Smith, 14th, and Daniel Bouchard was 18th. Zach Fitzwater, 24th, and Nathan Ormond was 26th. Coda Butcher was 33rd, Isaiah Bernash was 34th, and Priya McShane finished up in 39th. What a race this has been, a back and forth battle, it was a battle for the win here, it was a back and forth battle with the playoff drivers, and I'm sure a lot of points were given out, a lot of back and forths as well. So next week we'll be heading to Dover, the Dover, D Dover Delaware. Um, Second race of the second round of the playoffs, and that will be a lot of fun to do as well. So I hope you guys don't miss that race. We're about to head to the Monster Mile next week. So until then, we will see you guys later.